This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to go pro in Fortnite. Anyone can go pro if they really put their mind to it. But it takes time and an element of luck, so not everyone watching this video will become the best player in the world, but everyone who watches this video and implements all the steps will improve tremendously and at an extremely fast rate. Step 1 is mastering the basics. Before you take your skills to pro level, you need to be able to do 90s, double and triple edits, edit pretty consistently and be able to do ramp rushes and that is the bare minimum and the fundamentals but as a beginner and just everybody needs to also make sure to include new techniques and elements of the game that you struggle with into your free builds and free building is so essential everybody should be free building for at least nine minutes a day so an example of doing things you struggle with would be Let's say you can't do quad edits, you simply just practice quad edits until you can do them. And eventually you'll be able to do them so then you can move on to the next thing you find difficult and then I think you know what to do next. Step 2 is taking your mechanics to the next level. To do this I recommend following the 2 hour mechanics training routine once a week. And I'm about to share the best mechanics training routine with you right now. The best map for practicing your mechanics is Raiders Mechanics Training Map V4. To start this routine off you want to head over to the free build section and select 0.8 times speed. Then you want to free build on this speed for around 3 minutes. The aim on 0.8 times speed is just to practice consistency and moving your crosshair as little as possible but just enough to make sure you can make the right edits. After this you want to free build on 1.3 times speed and here you should focus on making as much edits as possible whilst trying to mess up as little as possible. So try and find a balance in between. You want to do this for around 3 minutes and then move on to normal speed and just practice free building normally whilst focusing on crosshair placement, edit timing, edit speed and consistency. And you also want to free build on the normal speed for another 3 minutes. Then you want to practice being able to edit in every single position and every angle I'm talking all the awkward edits that you always die to because you're being pressured and you can't get out of the box. These edits are hard for a reason and if you practice them you'll already be above the top amount of players. To do this go to the edit training v4 section on the same map and select the moving game mode and all of the different types of edits. Then place the wall and you will get moved around and the aim for you is to be able to make the edits that are shown through a red line on the wall. Once you finish you can go to the peak peace control classic tunnels and spend 2 minutes on each tunnel, which is 16 minutes in total. The aim whilst going through these is to make smart edits that would make you protected if you've done the same thing in a real game. This helps to build muscle memory so that when you're actually in a real game, staying protected just comes to you without even thinking. And making smart peaks is the thing that sets the difference between a good player and a pro player. Once you finish with this, spend 3 minutes on each section of the peace control target section. When you're running through each drill, make sure to do protected peaks as if the targets are real players who don't miss a shot, just like the last one. Also make sure to build wherever you can so you get into the habit of having as much of your own builds as possible during real fights. After all of this you would have put in 60 minutes of time but that's not enough if you want to go pro. Remember we're only doing this routine for at least once a week. The so two hours isn't actually a lot. But before we do this you need to take a five minute break. After the break head to the Peace Control X peak training section on the same map. Make sure to select medium bot reaction time or hard reaction time if you really want. Then just like before you want to pretend that they're a real player. So make sure you're doing smart and protected right angle peaks. Do this for 15 minutes and then do aim draws for 40 minutes. Repeat this 2 hour routine every week and I guarantee you will see results. As well as doing this routine once a week, you need to be warming up every single day. This is the biggest thing that will help you consistently improve every day. A good warm up routine is one that targets your weaknesses whilst also incorporating the 3 main aspects of Fortnite. Editing, Building and Aim. If you're really stuck, then here is an example of a good routine. 10 minutes of free building using the same technique I mentioned in step 2. Then do 20 minutes of the peace control target section on Raiders mechanics map. Then do 30 minutes of Martos turtle wars map. One thing to note is that when you're starting out you should be playing a lot more creative than ranked. 
so you can master the fundamentals and then you should slowly introduce more ranks and less creative into your routine. Also as beginners on keyboard and mouse you should do at least 30 minutes of aim drills every single day. Step 4 is to master peak shots and crosshair placement. To master crosshair placement go into a free build map, I like the free build section in Raiders Mechanics V4 map. Then I would select the 0.8 time speed and practice moving your crosshair as little as possible when making an edit. I would then go back to normal speed and try to keep the same crosshair placement. If you already have good crosshair placement then you can just skip this step. Step 5 is to keep practicing but with the right routine. Now before I tell you this I'm going to ask you to think about what level of a Fortnite player you are at right now. If you think you're on the more beginner to average side then you're on level 1. If you think you're on the slightly more advanced side then you're level 2. Now you know what level you are here is the best routine based on your level. Level 1. Warm up for 1 hour doing the warm up routine I mentioned in step 3. Then do 1v1s for 15 to 30 minutes. And a very important thing to note is that the better the player you're going against, the faster you will improve. And if you're a lot better than your opponent, then it's going to make you worse. So make sure that your opponent is better than you. In addition to this, make sure you're doing the type of 1v1s that you're worse at. But I would pick from these three types. Realistics, build fights and box fights. Next up you need to get in some ranked practice and for this I recommend not coming off until you get at least 50 kills when you combine all the ranked games that you've played that day. So if you get 10 kills every match then you only need to play 5 games of ranked that day. For some of you this will take longer and for some of you this will be quicker but once you've done this you have completed your level 1 daily routine. Now for level 2. This is the exact same routine as level 1, but instead of having to get 50 kills in ranks, you can now just get 40 kills. But at the end of your rank games, you also need to do at least 3 customs and at least 30 minutes of VOD reviewing every day. You want to make sure that you're reaching the end game in all 3 of these customs as that will be the most effective practice and obviously that's what we want. Okay, there is the routine you should follow, but now you need to follow step 6. You need to stay consistent. Keep practicing your weaknesses and following this routine. And with the routines, if you feel you're getting better and you can do the next level of the routine, then switch as it will only help you to improve. And remember, you need to be practicing your weaknesses. This video gave you the step by step guide on how to go pro, but this is impossible if you can't practice. And one of the best ways to practice is 1v1s. This is why I just created this very short 2 minute video that tells you the best 1v1 start. So I recommend going to watch that. But if you enjoyed this video or it helped then please consider liking and subscribing. Also please use complexity in the Fortnite item shop. It helps me out so much and I'll see you next time.